Hello, I'm Phil Ernest, and this is London. The purpose of this video is to show you how easy it is if you happen to have a layover of say six hours or more to get out of Heathrow Airport, go into the city of London, do a little sightseeing before heading back to the airport to catch your next flight. This place right here, as soon as you come out of, this is Terminal 2 that I'm showing you. I'm sure they have it in other terminals, but this is for Terminal 2, this company here, and then here's the rates to leave your baggage for three hours at 7.50 for up to 24 hours, 15 euro. And then you can also get your express train ticket to London with these little kiosks right here. Or you can go downstairs and get the underground and take that. I wound up taking the underground, going through these gates, these doors, and then down, like I said, Terminal 2. And then you can go over here to the elevators. This is going to the trains right here. This is the elevator you want to take. After you get out of the elevator, it's about a 10 minute walk until you get to the trains. I took the Elizabeth line and it took me about 25 minutes to get into London. When I came in um, from the airport, I got the um, Elizabeth, the Express, and that train and went all the way to Bond Street, which was one street, one station after there, Padaduk, I guess is what it's called. And then from there I got to Bond Street, and then I got out, and then I got in the Jubilee subway train to get me to Westminster. And it was only like a couple of stops, so very quick. When you come out of Westminster Station, you'll see Big Ben immediately. And then you can go up that way, or you can turn right and go straight to Abbey's, Westminster Abbey. So it looks like they're having some type of uh, Pakistan demonstrations here today in front or near around the uh, Big Ben and Westminster Abbey. And these guys, just right around from um, the Pakistani protest, we got the Hong Kong independence protesting. So, so it's all happening today. Check that backdrop out. That's really pretty right there. Look at this, courage calls to courage everywhere. So this is a pretty good sign. I guess this is why people are stepping up and protesting in this little area here. This actually is Parliament Square. So that's what this big building is here. Let me go see if I can get around this area. So this is it, welcome to Westminster Abbey. This is where uh, King Charles got put in to be a king and also where Queen Elizabeth had her funeral. Westminster Abbey, right there. So the only way to get in is to buy a ticket and that's 27 pounds. So that's a big price to get in to uh, Westminster Abbey. And then they got guys here checking your bags, making sure you're not carrying any weapons, bombs or anything. And then here's uh, how to buy tickets online there. Scan the code and you're good to go. Right here, this is the Parliament Square. There's a big double-decker bus going by with Big Ben in the background. And they have... So now I'm gonna go past Big Ben to the Westminster Bridge and check that out. A little live entertainment right there, here at the, uh, in downtown London where it's all happening. So, let me get a closer view over there of the eye. This is a view from the Westminster Bridge looking at the Thames River and the London Eye in the background. Here's an up close look at the London Eye. Great big wheel here. Check that out. right here with a backdrop of um, Big Ben. A look at the entrance here into the uh, London Eye. So even though it's a big, big price to get in, it is packed. People like to come to take a couple of uh, turns. I don't know how many turns they go on this for the big price they're paying, but they seem to be happy with it because it's busy. So this is Jubilee Garden. So by getting off of that uh, Jubilee train at the Westminster, this is um, at Westminster Station, you'll have the London Eye, the um, Big Ben, 
Westminster Abbey and the Jubilee Gardens here. Street entertainment. So it's quite the place people like to come and just spend a nice, easy, relaxing day. Here's some uh, street entertainment here. In the shadows, the shadows, no, no. In the shadows. Here's where that big party was going on down there. Pretty nice little walking bridge I have here, running along adjacent to the uh, railroad tracks here. There's a good view of the Waterloo Bridge right there, and the um, backdrop skyline of London. So. I just got off of that um, walking bridge right there, and I'm gonna go to the Tower Bridge, real huge. So this is pretty cool. They got uh, some great big um, Egyptian sphinx here. Another sphinx on this side right here. So this is pretty neat, walking the streets here in London on a, uh, a few hours layover from the uh, airport. Just hopped on the train, got over here and checking it out, and it's a, uh, Pretty neat, a lot of sights to see along this uh, area here in London. Pretty neat architecture of this building right here. Look at that. Nice. Good. Looks like a new bridge here that they got in London and the skyline here. Newer building, that's brand new. Look at that, very nice. London is looking good. Really neat architecture here in London. Check out this building and then look at this building here. Like a little slice of a cake building. Very nice, look at that. Pretty cool indeed. There's that unique building right there from that angle. The little London taxi cab there. Check out that cathedral. Really nice. This is the main entrance to St. Paul's Cathedral, right here in the front. Look at this. And here it is. Check around the, look at the grounds around here with the building and, and then the St. Paul's Cathedral right there. The main entrance, the front of it. From this angle here, you can really appreciate the big iconic dome on top. Now that you saw the dome from the outside, check out how cool it looks from the inside, looking straight up into it. One of my favorite things about St. Paul's Cathedral is how wide open and spacious everything is. You can really admire the church from a distance. You don't have big massive columns blocking your um, view at all. This is an up-close view of the altar right here and looking beyond it. Look at that amazing pipe organ right there. That is really neat. Looking around the cathedral, it's easy to understand why it is one of the most famous and recognizable sites in London. Its dome stands 365 feet high. It was the tallest building in London from 1710 to 1963. The dome is still one of the highest in the world. St. Paul's Cathedral has also been the site of some very famous services which have included funerals of Admiral Lord Nelson, the Duke of Wellington, Winston Churchill, and Margaret Thatcher. The wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer also took place in this cathedral. Construction started for St. Paul's Cathedral in 1675. The church took 35 years to complete, finishing in 1710. This is the memorial monument to the Duke of Wellington. Notice the man high atop the horse and the body down below. This is the Duke of Wellington who died in 1852. His body is actually buried in this cathedral. The monument stands 40 feet high. This is really neat right across from uh, St. Paul's Cathedral. right near the monument station, so it has to be the monument. And let's see what monument it is. And that's what it's called, just simply the monument, right there. Pretty neat, all the way on up. And this is Tower Plaza right here. 
all hollows by the tower. The oldest church in the city is right here. So that's really neat. All hollows by the towel, tower. This is another look at the, um, the oldest church in the city from this angle. And now facing this way. This is the uh, Tower of London. Right here, this uh, big area right here. Look at that. And then across from that, this is where you get the ticket, ticket office over here. So if you bought a ticket and you wanted to go to the Tower of London, here's where the entrance is, right here. Pretty neat. Oh, excuse me. Right through that way. And there's the Tower Bridge. Finally find it. Take a look at the Tower the, uh, of London from this angle here. They have all kinds of uh, artifacts and old jewels and things like that in there. Looks pretty neat from the outside. Here's a little bit of history on it too, right here. The Towers community gives a little history of this place, showing you around. Really neat building. Last but not least, what I've been searching for the whole afternoon, the Tower Bridge, right there. It's really neat. You can actually um, go up into it and then cross high up there, take a little tour inside of it, and then uh, go down that way. Really neat bridge. It actually lifts up as well to let the bigger boats go through that lower part. Back to the London Tower. Look at, there's, it has a little moat right there separating it back from the olden days to keep the uh, predators away. And it's really neat because it's right next to the Tower Bridge. Well, this is neat. They uh, continue to reinforce it, restoring old um, parts of it and making sure it doesn't fall apart. So it's good to note they continuously do maintenance on this place. There it is, up close and personal next to the Tower Bridge. I like this angle, really neat looking right over the river. And there's the uh, skyline. Newer building that wasn't there last time I was here. So it's really neat that they continuously modernize this part, but don't forget about this part and they continue to restore these. This part. I'm gonna take a little walk on this uh, tower bridge and show you what it looks like from the bridge view. And then this is it. Look at that. Really neat walking on this uh, bridge, seeing how it's just two lanes for cars sharing each way, making their way over the bridge. This is what it looks like going on down here from the bridge view. Continuing my walk on the bridge right here. Nice, look at that. Big old bus coming right by me. And around the um, that big structure right there and that's where you would walk if you were inside taking the tour going from the top of it you would go down that way and then come back up this way for the tour inside I did that tour a few years ago really neat glad I took it And there's Butler's Wharf, they explain about, on the tour about how that, um, that history came about. From the bridge, looking back on the skyline over. So this is a neat angle right here, if you can see it. The old, the tower, London Towers, and then the brand new uh, skyscrapers up top. Really neat, old meets the new London. Pretty cool angle from this point right here. Looking up at the bridge and then and a down at the uh, butler's wharf from this angle right here and after you finish your walk around london and you want to head on back to the airport the neat thing is they have all these undergrounds that are all over the place right. tell the people where you want to go tell them you got a ticket you want to go to the airport they will guide you to which uh undergrounds to take to get there if you enjoyed the video and found it informative, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to receive more of this informative content, please subscribe to the channel. I post a new video every week. There's the London Bridge Station, so 
I'm gonna take that uh, London Bridge station and get my way over to the airport. Just as I said, there's always a station not too far away. If you would like to see my other videos on European travel, please click on the link now. Thank you so much for watching.